Good day, my beloved brothers and sisters in Christ. Have you ever heard those unsettling and chilling sounds resonating in the sky? Well, just eight minutes ago, reports surfaced about alarming noises filling the skies across the USA. Some people even speculate that these peculiar sounds could be omens of the end times, can you believe it? What could be behind these mysterious noises? And what implications might they hold for us? It's definitely worth investigating. So let's delve into today's video to uncover more about these eerie sounds and their potential significance for our future. The Bible offers insights into future events, discussing major occurrences in human history, particularly those leading up to Jesus' return. Signs suggest that these times may be approaching. Many have pondered whether the Bible references powerful nations like the United States, just as it does smaller ones like Jordan or Israel. If it does, how can we determine its mention in Scripture and understand its fate? Finding these answers requires examining the Bible and reflecting on past events. This knowledge is essential as it reveals God's promises and what lies ahead. Understanding what the Bible predicts about America is vital for being prepared in these end times. Before his departure, Jesus spoke with his followers about signs to look for as the end approaches. He pointed out that one indication would be wickedness, likening it to the days of Noah, when society engaged in immoral behavior with no constraints. Today, those who study biblical prophecy observe a similar moral decline in our world, reflected in media and cultural attitudes. They claim that we are witnessing the very wickedness Jesus warned us about two millennia ago. Recently, eerie sounds have been reported in the skies over America. In the past few weeks, people globally have been discussing bizarre noises captured on video from locations such as Arizona, England and Manitoba, raising concerns reminiscent of science fiction. Investigators are working to unravel this peculiar phenomenon, noting that similar odd sounds have been documented from various places, including nearby Dee Creek. In one video, someone speculates about what they might discover by looking up further. This entire situation is shrouded in mystery, fueling public curiosity and the flurry of theories. Now, shifting our focus to Rio de Janeiro, Brazil the Christ the Redeemer statue stands as a major attraction for visitors. This towering statue serves as a reminder of Jesus' ascension to heaven, where two angels told his followers he would return in the same manner. This is referenced in Acts 1, emphasizing that when Jesus comes back, it won't be a subtle affair. He will return with great power and glory, reclaiming the earth as his kingdom. This marks the beginning of the millennium, a significant period in Christian doctrine, filled with majesty and authority. The second coming of Jesus will be a daunting time for those who have strayed, yet it promises peace and joy for the righteous. The Lord assures that those who are wise, follow the Holy Spirit and remain unfold will not face punishment. Instead, they will endure that day and inherit the land, growing strong and raising children who walk in righteousness, leading them to salvation. Now, regarding those peculiar sounds, could they signify a spiritual struggle, a natural phenomenon, or perhaps our inclination to attribute meaning to random noises due to our fear of the unknown? Let's discuss this. Maintain your curiosity. Don't let fear deter you from seeking the truth. Stay safe, keep questioning, and continue exploring, as this is how we uncover new insights. What are these sounds? Recently, there have been reports of unusual noises in the sky, often dubbed sky trumpets or skyquakes. Individuals from various countries, including the USA, Canada, Russia, the Czech Republic, and Australia, have reported experiencing these enigmatic sounds, describing them as low-frequency hums, trumpets, or horns emanating from above or below the earth. What's particularly unsettling, that many of these noises are entirely new to us, possessing a unique quality that resembles a blend of a groan and a metallic vibration, akin to musical instruments, sometimes interspersed with unintelligible voices. 
Various theories attempt to explain these strange sounds. Some attribute them to natural phenomena, while others propose they are linked to alien spacecraft or are man-made. Additionally, some individuals believe they are connected to spiritual events. One theory suggests that these sky trumpets may arise from natural causes, such as solar plasma interacting with the Earth's magnetic field. Another hypothesis connects them to tectonic plate movements or shifts in the Earth's magnetic poles. However, if these noises are indeed natural, why haven't they been documented before March 2011? UFO enthusiasts often suggest that these sky trumpets could be signs of extraterrestrial encounters, viewing them as potential proof of alien visits to Earth. However, there are also more grounded explanations. Many of the sky trumpet videos circulating online might be fabrications, as it's relatively simple for someone to edit audio and create a scene where a few individuals feign surprise at unusual sounds in the sky. Beyond the possibility of these videos being hoaxes, alternative explanations that don't involve deception have emerged. Some propose that the sounds may originate from industrial or military activities. For instance, one city in Canada attributed its sky trumpet noises to the maintenance work of a city employee, heavy machinery. Conspiracy theories also proliferate, linking these sounds to clandestine government initiatives such as HARP and Project Blue Beam. Depending on the source, these projects are said to involve weather manipulation, harmful microwave technologies, or efforts to create a new world order by simulating the second coming of Christ. Additionally, some people interpret the sky trumpets through a spiritual lens. While some view the sounds as demonic, intended to frighten and confuse, others perceive them as divine warnings indicating the approach of the end times. In biblical texts, trumpets are associated with significant events. For instance, when God delivered the law on Mount Sinai, a loud trumpet blast caused the entire camp to tremble. Exodus 19.16 recounts, on the morning of the third day, there was thunder and lightning, along with a thick cloud on the mountain and a trumpet blast so loud that all the people in the camp trembled. Moses led the people out to meet God, standing at the foot of the mountain. Later, the sound of the trumpet intensified Exodus 19.19. According to 1 Thessalonians 4.16, during the rapture, a trumpet will sound, the dead will rise, and believers will be transformed. Matthew 24.31 states, He will send out his angels with a loud trumpet call, and they will gather his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. Jesus discussed his second coming, indicating that a loud trumpet call would herald the gathering of his chosen ones, along with frightening signs from heaven Luke 21 11. In Revelation 8 to 6, seven angels were prepared to sound their trumpets. Revelation 8 to 8 to 9 describes how a third of sea creatures died and a third of ships were destroyed. Those who contemplate the end times often associate the sky trumpets with the trumpets of the apocalypse. However, these sounds do not correspond to the last trumpet mentioned in 1 Corinthians 15.52, which occurs in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet, when the dead will be raised incorruptible. Since the rapture has not yet occurred, the sounds cannot represent the seven trumpets of Revelation, as the tribulation has not started. Thus, while the sky trumpets remain enigmatic, they do not currently align with the specific events described in the Bible. According to scripture, these mysterious sky trumpets may have several explanations. They could arise from natural phenomena, such as shifts in the Earth's magnetic field, or they might be man-made, potentially the work of pranksters or part of a covert plan. The reality is that we don't possess all the answers, and it remains unclear if these sounds are connected to the end times. What we do know is that prior to the rapture, conditions will deteriorate, with increasing evil and false teachings spreading to Timothy 3 to 1 to 4, 1 Timothy 4 to 1. The Holy Spirit warns us that in the last days, some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons, 1 Timothy 4 to 1. According to, to Timothy 4 to 3, 
A time will come when people will reject sound doctrine. Jude 1 18 states that in the last times, there will be scoffers following their own ungodly desires. After the rapture, darkness will deepen with lies and wickedness prevailing to Thessalonians 2 to 9 to 11. The only way to avoid being swept up in this confusion is to become a new creation in Christ and to live with hope, knowing that Jesus may return for his followers at any moment. Moses and Aaron did just as the Lord had commanded. He raised his staff in the presence of Pharaoh and his officials and struck the water of the Nile, and all the water was changed into blood. The fish in the Nile died, and the river smelled so bad that the Egyptians could not drink its water. The third trumpet brings another big event. It's like the second trumpet this time, but it affects the world's lakes and rivers instead of the oceans. A massive star, shining like a torch, falls from the sky, and it's named Wormwood. This star poisons a third of the water supply, and a lot of people die because of its Revelation 8, 10 to 11. Wormwood in nature is a very bitter and poisonous plant. Now on to the fourth trumpet. This trumpet brings changes to the sky. A third of the sun, moon, and stars are struck, making a third of them go dark. This darkness lasts for a third of both the day and the night's Revelation 8.12. After this fourth trumpet, there's a special warning given by an eagle flying in the air. The eagle shouts loudly, saying, Bad things are coming, bad things are coming. Woe to the people on earth, because of what the next three trumpets will bring Revelation 8.13. That's why the fifth, sixth, and seventh trumpets are called the three woes. According to the book of Revelation, these are some intense events that will happen. Let's talk about the fifth trumpet and the scary things it brings. This trumpet marks the start of what's called the first woe in the book of Revelation. It's a really scary time when demonic locusts come out and start tormenting people who aren't saved by God Revelation 9 to 1 to 11. It all starts with a star falling from the sky. This star is probably a fallen angel and he's given the key to the abyss, which is like a deep, dark pit Revelation 9 to 1. When he opens it up, out come these locusts, but these aren't ordinary bugs. They're like scorpions and have the power to hurt people Revelation 9 to 3. Strangely, they avoid plants and go straight for people who don't have God's seal of protection on them Revelation 9 to 4. For five months, these locusts torture people so much that they wish they could die, but they can't. Revelation 9 to 6 says, And in those days shall men seek death and shall not find it and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. The locusts aren't allowed to kill, just to cause pain. These scary locusts have a leader called the Angel of the Abyss. In Hebrew, his name is Abaddon, and in Greek, it's Apollyon. Both mean destroyer Revelation 9-11. These locusts are described in really strange ways. They look like horses ready for battle, wear crowns of gold, and their faces are kind of human like Revelation 9 to 7 to 8. They even have hair like, they even have hair like women and teeth like lions Revelation 9 to 8. It's all very unusual and really scary. These creatures have some really unusual features. They wear breastplates that sound like iron and have wings that make noises like a thundering army charging into battle Revelation 9 to 9. They even have stings in their tails just like Scorpion's Revelation 9.10. This description has led to many different ideas about what these creatures could be. Some think they might be helicopters, or maybe they're barbarian warriors. Others wonder if they're an army powered by Satan or actual creatures from the depths of hell. We won't know for sure until it happens. Let's talk about the fifth trumpet and the scary things it brings. This trumpet marks the start of what's called the first woe in the book of Revelation. It's a really scary time when demonic locusts come out and start tormenting people who aren't saved by God Revelation 9 to 1 to 11. It all starts with a star falling from the sky. This star is probably a fallen angel, and he's given the key to the abyss, which is like a deep, dark pit Revelation 9 to 1. When he opens it up, 
out come these locusts, but these aren't ordinary bugs. They're like scorpions and have the power to hurt people Revelation 9 to 3. Strangely, they avoid plants and go straight for people who don't have God's seal of protection on them, Revelation 9 to 4. For five months, these locusts torture people so much that they wish they could die, but they can't. Revelation 9 to 6 says, And in those days shall men seek death, and shall not find it, and shall desire to die, and death shall flee from them. The locusts aren't allowed to kill, just to cause pain. These scary locusts have a leader called the Angel of the Abyss. In Hebrew, his name is Abaddon, and in Greek, it's Apollyon. Both mean destroyer Revelation 9-11. These locusts are described in really strange ways. They look like horses ready for battle, wear crowns of gold, and their faces are kind of human like Revelation 9-7-8. They even have hair like, they even have hair like women and teeth like lions Revelation 9-8. It's all very unusual and really scary. These creatures have some really unusual features. They wear breastplates that sound like iron and have wings that make noises like a thundering army charging into battle Revelation 9-9. They even have stings in their tails, just like scorpions Revelation 9-10. This description has led to many different ideas about what these creatures could be. Some think they might be helicopters, or maybe they're barbarian warriors. Others wonder if they're an army powered by Satan or actual creatures from the depths of hell. We won't know for sure until it happens. Moving on to the sixth trumpet, which brings another scary event. This time it's called the second woe. When this trumpet sounds, a voice from God's altar tells four angels who were held at the Euphrates River to be set free Revelation 9, 12 to 14. These angels were kept locked up just for this moment to cause destruction during the tribulation Revelation 9.15 These four angels lead a huge army of thousands upon thousands, and they're out to kill a third of all people Revelation 9.16 The riders wear fiery red, dark blue, and yellow breastplates. Their horses have lion heads and breathe out fire, smoke, and sulfur. Their tails are like snakes, and they use them to kill people Revelation 9.17.19 It's all very frightening and strange. Even though scary things happened during these plagues, the people left on earth don't change their ways. They keep on worshipping idols, killing others, practicing sorcery, being sexually immoral, and stealing Revelation 9.20-21. 20 After the sixth trumpet, there's a break in the story. John sees an angel coming down from heaven, holding a little scroll. The angel says that soon the seventh trumpet will sound, and John is told to keep sharing God's messages, Revelation 10 to 7 to 11. Then we hear about a special people called the two witnesses. They'll preach in Jerusalem and do amazing things before they're killed, but God will bring them back to life and take them to heaven, Revelation 11 to 1 to 13. Let's talk about the seventh trumpet, which brings the third woe. When this trumpet sounds, there are loud cheers in heaven, saying that God and his Messiah will rule forever, Revelation 11:15. The elders in heaven say it's time to punish those who have been destroying the earth, Revelation 11:18. It's clear that God is getting ready to wrap things up once and for all. When the seventh trumpet sounds, the temple in heaven opens up, revealing the Ark of God's covenant. There's lightning, thunder, earthquakes, and a big hailstorm, Revelation 11:19. So that's the end of the seven trumpet judgments. Everything's getting set for the seven angels with the seven bowls of God's anger. They're standing inside the open temple, ready to bring the final punishments to earth, Revelation 15. It's all very intense and shows that God's plans are moving forward according to what's written in the book of Revelation. Other signs of the end times. In Matthew 24, Jesus tells us some important things to look out for as the end times approach. He says many will come in my name claiming, I am the Christ, and will deceive many. He also says there will be wars, but we shouldn't panic because these things have to happen before the end comes. He mentions nations fighting each other, 
and famines and earthquakes happening in different places. These are all like the beginning of birth pains, showing that the end is coming, but it's not here yet. Some people think every earthquake or political trouble means the end times are coming soon. But while these things might show that the last days are getting nearer, they don't mean the end times have arrived. The Apostle Paul warned that there would be a lot of false teachings in the last days. He said some will abandon the faith and follow deceiving spirits and things taught by demons. The last days are described as dangerous because people will become more evil and will fight against the truth. There are other signs we can look for, like the rebuilding of the Jewish temple in Jerusalem, more hostility towards Israel, and steps towards a one-world government. But the biggest sign of the end times is Israel itself. In 1948, Israel became a country again after a long time. This is important because God promised Abraham that his family would always have the land of Canaan, and Ezekiel talked about Israel being brought back to life. Israel important in end times prophecies because it plays a big role in what happens Daniel 10:14, 11:41, Revelation 21:12, 11-8. So we can be smart and watch for these signs, but we shouldn't think that any one event means the end times are right around the corner. God has given us enough information to be ready, and that's what we're supposed to do as we wait for Jesus to come back Revelation 22:20. 20. Are we living in the last days? Yes, it's true. Many signs in the world, and according to the Bible suggest, that the last days started in 1914, when World War I began. In that year, God's kingdom began to rule in heaven, and one of the first things it did was kick Satan, the devil and his followers out of heaven and send them down to earth Revelation 12 to 7 to 12. Since then, we've seen Satan's influence causing a lot of problems among people, making these times tough to handle to Timothy 3 to 1. Lots of folks are upset by all the bad things happening in the world. They worrying that society is getting worse and worse, and some even wonder if things will ever get better for humanity. But others stay hopeful despite feeling troubled by what's going on. They believe that God's kingdom will step in soon to fix everything wrong in the world. Daniel to 44. Revelation 21 to 3 to 4. They patiently wait for God to keep his promises, finding comfort in what Jesus said. If you keep holding on until the end, you'll be saved. Matthew 24 13. Micah 7 to 7. If you enjoy this video please give us a like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next videos. Goodbye.